Good evening, welcome to Real Time. I'm your host, Catherine Mochler. The new abortion statistics for England and Wales paint a devastating picture of coercion, says SPUC. The statistics reveal that abortion is at an all-time high in England and Wales, with over 200,000 abortions taking place during 2021, the highest number since the Abortion Act was introduced. In 2021, DIY abortion, where a woman takes both abortion drugs at home, was the most common abortion procedure, accounting for 52% of all abortions. SPUC has stressed that DIY abortion deprives women of the opportunity to meet a medical professional in person, when coercion can be picked up and that these latest figures are a picture of the hidden scourge of coercion. A militant pro-abortion group, Jane's Revenge, has declared open season on pro-life pregnancy centres in the United States. In a threatening letter, the group states that pro-lifers could expect increasing drastic measures to be taken against them and that Jane's Revenge would find joy in violence. Jane's Revenge has claimed responsibility for a campaign of arson and vandalism waged against pro-life pregnancy centres. One such attack took place in Buffalo, New York, where a pro-life office was set on fire and smeared with the slogan, Jane was here. SPUC has slammed the group as dangerous and profoundly sick and stated that more must be done to protect pro-life centres to ensure women have safe access to support services. A recent Care Quality Commission report has revealed that BPAS abortion clinic in Doncaster is unsafe for women. Five months after the Care Quality Commission threatened the clinic with closure, a recent follow-up inspection in April 2022 has shown that safety at the clinic still requires improvements. SPUC Northern Development Officer Terry Graham stated that abortion will never be safe and it is unacceptable that women continue to be subjected to unnecessary risks. And finally, SPUC has expressed relief after an amendment that would have criminalised people for taking part in peaceful pro-life vigils was withdrawn at committee stage. SPUC has stated that it is a relief that the clause has fallen, yet still outrageous that Parliament was considering jailing people for up to two years for an expressing an opinion on abortion and trying to help women. Pro-life vigils offer hope. To criminalise pro-life vigils would be to criminalise love. From SPUC's newsroom, I'm Catherine and this is Real Time. Thank you for tuning in. See you again next week, same time, same place.